Good morning. So today I'm going to show you how you can build your very own WordPress full site editing theme in just 10 minutes with no coding whatsoever. So if you're a designer and you want to learn how to build WordPress themes, this is definitely for you. I'll take you step by step through it. It's very, very straightforward. There's also a little secret tip at the end uh, because Gutenberg now has its own theme exporter, which I only discovered yesterday. So it's really, really exciting. So let's get into it. Okay, a couple of things to say. The first is this tutorial that I'm doing today is based on a fantastic article written by Alfredo Navas from WebDev Studios. And I will put a link up on the screen, but also in the description where you can see step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this yourselves. The second thing to say is the theme we're going to end up is basically just a starter theme. So it's not going to have many styles applied to it, but it's going to have all the constituent parts that we need to basically build our site. So it's going to have all the site, full site building functionality from day one, so it's really cool. Okay, there are just eight steps to create your full site editing starter theme. Don't be overawed by these eight steps. They're incredibly simple. There's nothing technical involved. We're basically just creating files and folders, mostly empty ones actually. There's one we put some stuff in, but again, I'll give you a link to where you just get that stuff and you just plonk it in and change a few, um, few lines of stuff in there. So it's incredibly simple. So I'm gonna take you through step by step from one to, oh, there's seven. That's weird, there's seven. Right, we're gonna change that to seven. Where did, where did number eight go? There's seven simple steps, here we go. Right, step one, create a folder on your desktop. So this is my desktop, I'm gonna right click and go new folder. And all I'm doing, gonna do is give it a name, I'm gonna call it Poodle Press FSE Theme. You obviously call that what you like. There we go, that's step one. Step two is we need to create a style.css file this actually has some stuff in it, but there's a link which I put on the screen, which will basically give you all the stuff you need. You can see it on the page here. And all you do is copy that here. This is basically some information that your theme's gonna need. Go to a text edit editor, so I'm using one called Sublime Text, which is a free one. Pop it in there, and in here you'll see there's some information like the theme name. So this is where you give it your theme name. So I'm gonna call mine Poodle Press FSE Theme. Uh, you can also change the URL of where the theme lives. This is up to you. This is kind of optional at this point, but this is just about prettying your theme up, uh, who wrote it, and then all the address of you know, where that theme's from. So it's poodlepress.com. That, that's kind of it. And then you want to save that out. So file, save as. And then all we're going to do is save that as a style.css. And we want to put that in the folder basically that we've just created. So I'm just gonna save it to my desktop for speed today and then what we'll do, I think we'll just bung it in our folder. Okay, so in our folder now, we've got our base folder and in there we've got our style.css file with that information we've just pasted in. Right. Hey, that's the hardest stuff over with. So let's crack on to the next, which is just basically we're gonna create some blank folders and files. And the first one we need to create is a blank file called functions PHP. So all we do is open a text editor like I'm doing here and go save as, and we're gonna call this functions.php and we'll save that again. Let's just chuck that there. And we're then just gonna chuck that in our theme folder. So now in our theme folder, here we go, we've got functions.php blank and then we've got style.css. Right, let's move on to the next step. Right, the next step is kind of similar again. We're gonna create a new file called index.php. This again is completely empty. So all I'm gonna do is in my Sublime Text Editor, I'm gonna go File, New, and then I'm gonna go File, Save As, and I'm just gonna call it index.php. And I'm gonna save that again. And again, I'm just gonna drag that in to my theme folder, simple as that. So now I've got functions.php, I've got index.php, and I've got style.css. On to the next one. Right, next up we have to create two brand new folders inside the theme folder. Both these folders have nothing in at the moment, but they're gonna. So go to your theme folder, so in my instance, mine's on my desktop, click on it, and then I'm gonna go new folder, right click new folder, and this one's called block hyphen templates and the second one is going to be called block hyphen template parts simple as that okay right let's move on to the next step 
Right, we're going to create another another empty file now. This is called header.html. So we're going to go file, new file. I'm using Sublime Text Editor here. And all I'm going to do is click Save As. And then I'm going to call this header.html. Okay. And again, what I'm going to do with this one is slightly different. So we need to put this one inside block template parts. Okay, so you just bung it in there. Now you could also create another file called footer.html and bung it in there as well. For today, I'm just going to create one called header.html. Right, that's, let's move on to the next step. The final step to get this working is to create another empty file called index.html. So I'm going to create my open my text editor, go new file, and then I'm all, all I'm going to do is go save as, and I'm going to call this index.html, save it. And again, this one wants to go inside uh, this one here, block templates. So we're going to drag that in, and that's it, okay? Okay, all that's left for us to do is to compress the theme file and upload it as a theme to our site. You might also want to add your own screenshot. So if you do, here's one um, that I'm going to add. You just create a file, a graphical screenshot, and you drag it into the, the main theme folder here. It just sits within your theme. That's the thumbnail that people see when they're viewing the themes in the dashboard, as you'll see in a second. So I'm going to right click and compress it. There's my theme. Now all that's left to do is for me to upload that to my site so go to your site go to themes go add new go upload theme go choose file find the theme file and this is this is where we cross our fingers click install now I think I've probably already got one on this site so it's gonna ask me to replace it which I'll do and then activate it and what's beautiful about this is that all the full site editing stuff is now there for you and working and we haven't really done anything apart from create a kind of the husk of a theme file so this takes me into full site editing mode. It's working out the box. So I've now got my template parts and in here I've got my header. So now I could go forth and create my, you know, I could create my header. If you want to understand more about full site editing and how it's going to work, um, I've done another video, which I'll put a link to that will tell you everything about full site editing. But now we've basically got full site editing, the starting theme working uh, within only about five minutes. Right, I just want to show you one more thing, which I sort of stumbled across the other day, which is pretty cool and very exciting, I think. So there is now in Full Site Editor an option to export your templates and template parts. So this is kind of like exporting your theme. So you can imagine you could almost design your theme within the Full Site Editor, and then you could export it out. It will save it out as a zip file, and if I just open this up for you so you can actually see what's in here. Uh, let's open this up. And basically what it's going to do is it export all those block templates and block template parts out with your customization with the stuff you built. So if you built a custom header in there, you spent a long time using uh, Gutenberg to build your own custom header, you can actually save that out as your own theme. So I think there's two important takeaways from full site editing and what this means for theme and theme building. Number one, themes are going to be easier for us to build because essentially we're just assembling blocks. Everything on your site in your theme is block based. So WordPress now is becoming a block based system. Number two, this leads to the possibility at some point that we're going to have a no coding way of building your own themes. And what that means is designers may well at some point soon in the future be able to design their own themes without having to learn any code, which is a really, really exciting prospect. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, if you can give it a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. If you want to see more Gutenberg tutorials, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.